Okay, so the next step would be to find the atomic weight units for each one. And there's, by the way, there's more than one way to do this. If you guys go on the internet and you guys look at a Khan Academy or something, they're gonna have you talk about moles and do all types of other stuff. I'm trying to do it the simplest way I can. So if you're you know, talking to technicians or something like that, we don't, don't have a chemistry background, you know, you're able to maybe explain it a little bit for you. So what I would do with this guy right here is I would just say, hey, I got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen is what I would deal with. So I would say carbon, atomic weight is 12, right? Hydrogen is one, oxygen is 16. That way you're not dealing with these two separate hydrogens that look like that. So how many carbons do I have? Six, so multiply those guys together. Somebody can start doing that for me. Thank you. Uh, and how many hydrogens do I have? 14. 14, yeah, I do that math in my head. And, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, look what we just did there. We got two over here, seven over there. So how many do I have? 16 hydrogens total, yeah. So don't make those simple math errors. Yeah, there's two right there. So I, well, I have eight total. Eight times two is 16. Yeah, but wouldn't you just go ahead and write it out? It'd be easier. You could if you wanted to. There's more than one way to do it. So if you don't like this and you say, hey, let's just do this, just to make it less confusing, that's fine too. So if you want to try that and do that instead, it makes it a little bit easier for you. And that's why you'll see it sometimes like that. It's just because it's easier to deal with when you're starting to do the equation. And so I got two oxygens. So 32. And what was 12 times 6? 60. 60, yeah. Add those three guys together. Sorry, you're right. <laughs> Add those two together. 120. Say again. 120. Yeah. <laughs> so then that's my atomic weight. Man, I always are confused me. My, that's my atomic weight units for these two molecules of propanol. And then everything else would be pretty much similar to what you've already guys have already dealt with. Questions on that? As far as how to figure out your atomic weight units of a fuel that has alcohol in it, or has extra oxygen in it. Okay, you can go ahead and kick off the video.